invitation to come to alchemy, to anchor our divine feminine, to sharpen and deepen our regenerative listening, to come together and circle and experience circle together. But I'm going to invite you to leave open some space for that which we don't know what's coming. Because there's a sense... I want you to hold your water. And I know that I've asked Reverend Carolyn and Kemba to hold water for people who are not here. So uh, we're going to ask them to pour first. But From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Four Rivers. From Milton, Australia. From the land of the Alani and El Cerrito, California. From Friesland, the Netherlands. From over 200 locations around the world, and my 16-year-old sacred goldfish's tank that's been blessed by every tradition. <laughs> Manitoulin Island. From the Susquehanna River and Salem, Massachusetts Harbor. And someone, uh, as I was going around, said, just prayer. So it's never just prayer, it's prayer, period. So if, that, if you want to just put your prayer in, that's without water, that's fine too. Thank you. From Central America in the spirit of migration and the children. Thank you. Uh, another practice is to uh, slow down and reflect. Get to know your own voice. Get to know your inner voice so that... Once you know your inner voice, then you can discern more easily when it's time to speak and when it's time to listen. So when you tap into what is your own spiritual, meaning to not define nature, it is that place that needs to be coherent with what it is you are doing with your life. Because when there's coherence between you doing what you came for, meaning that you came here, as a soul that entered into a dysfunctional society and probably a dysfunctional family. <laughs> Walking the right path, she doesn't want to be seen. So I'm going to get you back to the group for God's team to start to live clean. So put your hands up if you know you're up. Woman, feeding and rearing the children. Coming with the